in May 2015. The concrete and construction industry will be changed forever. Make a date with innovation. Make a date for African construction and Totally Concrete Expo. If you look at Cape Town, 10 years ago it was a great place. Um, nobody could say it was a bad place and if you look at it today it's, it's better and there's no question about it. And in the next five years I would say to you that there's a whole lot of projects that are all very different, they're not all the same. It's buildings, hotels, the v and want to uh, reclaim from the sea, um, Century City want to do things. I mean there are five schools in Century City, there were none two years ago. People will always moan and say there's not enough work, but believe me, when there are five tall buildings about to be built and five new hotels, um, there can't be anything too much wrong with the construction industry. Uh, we don't sit here uh, uh, in a cocoon. We're looking at what the rest of the world is doing. And there's investment all over the world in, in, in a number of sometimes very unlikely places where the government has removed reasons for not being there. In other words, They've encouraged people to come there, and one of the one of the one of the biggest uh, uh, in, um, potential uh, attractions is to is to fast track planning approval. In other words, if I'm going to spend money in Cape Town or Joburg or Port Elizabeth, um, take away disincentives and and try to get their plans approved quickly. Um, perhaps give them tax incentives, tax breaks, or property rebates. This is happening around the world. London's doing it right now. London has a major plan to attract investment on its outskirts. There's a big thing in, in, in development it's called momentum. Once you start building and doing things, making improvements, others see it and they want to be next door. If you looked at Woodstock five years ago and you look at it now, the change is enormous. We must remember that President Obama's wife came here and she chose Woodstock to have lunch. And um, we, we've taken the, uh, the National Department of Finance on a tour and we've gone through Woodstock. And you can't believe the changes. Some of the top architects, some of the top businesses in, businesses in Cape Town are now in Woodstock. And that's an incredible improvement. And people will pay to be in Woodstock now because it's got, it's got attractions. Uh, transport issues close to town. These kind of changes will make Cape Town a, a place that people want to be in. And there's no question about it. Nobody will come here with, and build five hotels over the next three to four years if they didn't want to be here. We're talking about international uh, hotels and, and, and this is big money.